Are you ready to see the race can't run? I am because there's not a speck of dirt on the tires at all. The vehicle is already old, but you know what? I'm going to show this thing to you real quick on the table because it is very unique. The only one in existence as far as I know. So yeah, I'm going to show this to you real quick on the table. I'm going to take it out for a run on 3S and 4S. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Rift front end, look at that. I got the Vitavon shock towers. I had to brace it. There's nothing underneath here. Got a Mamba XESC uh, 2850 KV slate motor. We got Vitavon LMT long wheel base lower arms. <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to use those. Otherwise, it's all axial. Yeah, it almost all bolted on, kind of, sort of. There's your rift. It still has the differentials in it because I want smoothness. Still has the base camp shocks and all that. Somehow underneath everything cleared. This is awesome. It's time to go guys. Let's do this. So the first thing I want to see is what's the punch like and how fast is it on 3S? Let's find out. That's actually quite mild. Apparently I can do a 50-50 grinds with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I was about to say, man, it's stable. <laughs> and then it goes right over. Oh, look at that. Now, 4S is going to wake this thing up, but we can still jump it. Oh, and crash it. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like you. Let's hit this thing. Oh, oh, oh yeah. In a scale kind of way, it's actually working perfect. This was good. It's definitely bouncy. Their tires are not vented, so I got I got a lot of spring in the tires. But uh, 3,000 milliamp 4S. Time to do this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 4S launch. You ready? Oh wow! It stayed down. That 2,800 kV motor is slinging in there. Screaming in there. I probably have enough to clear this. Now, let's try it. I got a feeling I'm gonna need a faster motor or bigger pinion gear. Woo, got that though. Barely. 4S feels good though. Oh, I gotta finish cleaning my track up. 4S feels good in this thing. But I may end up going to the faster transmission, get a little bit more speed into it. But overall, it feels really good. Let's go hit the jumps. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. These tires, shocks, all that stuff are incredibly bouncy. They probably have air pressure. Nice launch. I do think it needs a bit more uh, 
RPMs though. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this full speed for you guys. And if it survives, we'll get some slow motion. <laughs> Nice! I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm not hitting the big ramp. Well, I have a real legitimate excuse for not hitting the big ramp. And that's because I'm chicken. Well, I went in and ate some Wheaties. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I gotta do that in slow motion. That was way over my head. Well, I gotta tell you guys, this thing is awesome. It's bouncy. It seems to be pretty darn solid. I think I might vent these tires though, because when I sealed them up, it was last night and it was a little bit on the, on the uh, cold side inside. And now here it is, ooh, about, um, Probably 90 degrees outside, so they got some air pressure on these things. That front left corner does look a little low, doesn't it? Let's see what we got here. Oh, that shock tower has moved. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I'm going to have to do something with that, but I guess everything else is okay. <laughs> well, it's more than just the shock tower come loose. I actually bent the frame. This side over here is bent up pretty bad. Hopefully you can see the bend right there. It's definitely got some bend to it. Me, I'm going to take that part of the chassis off and I'm going to straighten it back out. Well, other than seriously bending the chassis, this thing actually done pretty good. 3S was kind of like big power scale. 4S woke it up. I still think I need to bump that pinion gear up a little bit. Get a little more uh, tire speed on this thing. Now, I can also change the transmission gears to the fast gears. Remember, I've got the slow crawler gears in this thing. So I can also get more speed that way. But honestly, I kind of think 4S with a bigger pinion gear is more than enough for this thing. I think it'll be awesome. I'm also going to try to work on some kind of a bracing to go on that chassis to try to keep that from bending because sending this thing is pretty darn awesome. It's totally bouncy here, really bouncy. So hopefully when I get my tire situation figured out, we'll be okay. Um, these are not vented. So, and then when you're out there and here is like 70 degrees out there is like 90. So you actually get some air pressure buildup in here, which makes it a little bit more bouncy. Plus I haven't done anything to the shocks. Uh, they survived, they did not, okay. The truck did great. I'm happy with it. It does need a few adjustments though. Guys, check that description. I'll link up the base cap and the rift. Make sure you use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell because uh, you're gonna see more of this thing. I might try some mud tires or something, I don't know. But you're gonna see it. 
Guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful day. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.